the cleanest first gen I could find. Well, boys, we're in a Dodge. I'll catch you later when I can roll the windows up or stop or something. That's to my dude, Jake, for rolling with. We picked up a 93 one gen boys yeah it's got six wheels bought this thing in the heat of the diesel 100 bucks on 16 gallons oh, i think it's worth it though this thing is nasty It's a Dodge, I love this thing. That's all I'm gonna say is it's a Dodge. God dang, look at that thing. There she is, boys. It's early this morning. We're going to the BMV to transfer everything over. And uh, I'll find a parking lot so we can kind of go over this truck because I want to show you guys this thing. 91,000 miles. The cleanest first gen I could find. Factory five speed. This thing is just almost immaculate, which is one of the things that I looked at as close as possible. I used to detail cars so I can tell if things are repainted. You can definitely tell it's been repainted, but find me a nice first gen that has not been repainted. There's no way. I mean, some of the ones with patina, they look great. And I was looking for one with patina down in Texas or out West, something like that. But I just couldn't find a nice one. So this one popped up, it was only a couple hours away and I had to have it. One of the coolest things this truck has is an overdrive switch. So you can switch from the straight gear when it's pushed down, you can flip it to overdrive and then it basically splits all the gears. So you can run it. Most people use it for fourth or fifth um, when they're pulling something on the highway. You can just get way better fuel mileage and it just tows better. But Essentially, you can split every gear, so make it a 10 speed if you will, but it would kind of be nuts to drive it like that. But we're definitely gonna have to do some driving videos splitting gears. Let me show you guys the engine bay on this thing. It is hilarious that this is a 93 and everything is just so old looking. Like it, it's like a 70s square body Chevy almost looks you know as old as one of these trucks does anyway look at this thing underneath everything is completely factory the pump has never been messed with we're gonna have to fix that i'm gonna try to film a little bit shifting gears but it amazes me how quiet this thing is i mean it runs smooth and the exhaust is just silent. It's like every Dodge you see is just screaming loud. It kind of makes me want to keep it quiet, but at the same time, I kind of like the 12 valve sound. I had to make a pit stop on the way to the Freedom Meet at Zach's house. Check out his fourth gen Longhorn. Just threw it on 2214s. God, that thing's nasty. These wheels and tires, actually came off of his white single cab single wheel first gen that still isn't done yet zach <laughs> it ain't easy you guys have seen this on the youtube channel but we still haven't seen it driving <laughs> Got you some free parts for your Oh, we're already getting parts. This is the toolbox? Yeah, okay, right. To little like tool shelf thing? Yeah. All right. So this goes behind the single cab or the the bench seat in a single cab. We already got first gen parts, boys. Thank you, Zach. Shoo, look at the dually sitting there. Mm. 
This boy is jacked. Look at that. We got a driveway full of Dodges. I'm not used to this. Definitely look forward to this truck coming to shows and meets and whatnot with the red truck out there. This is going to be fun rolling with this thing. All right, boys, we're rolling in fifth gear overdrive. And uh, we're like, okay, let's see if the AC works. But it's like 75 degrees and sunny out, so it feels pretty good in here. We turn it on and it's like blowing stuff out over there, shooting at Ryan. I don't think it works though. Might need charge, I'm gonna say. Like every Facebook Marketplace ad, just needs recharged. Hey, that was the case with my Cummins. And I didn't, just needed recharged. I didn't find out until the week before I sold it. That was a hot Dodge, dude. <laughs> if you guys remember when I could not drive a second gen that made all kinds of power, go watch that video. Oh, look at this truck getting on the, on the highway. Dude. He has bush light cats wrapped around his filters. That was nasty. All right, guys, we've had a couple days with this thing and you guys have seen this truck for the most part, but I kind of want to show some little detail stuff about it. I don't know anything about the visors, but it does have this visor, which is drilled into the roof. I really don't care for it and I was hoping it was not attached like that but I'm not sure how you would attach it otherwise so I would like to change that or take it off at some point um, but we will see. Obviously one of the things to look at on a first gen if you're a first gen guy is making sure this drip rail here at the top is uh, not rusty so it is hard to see but up in here um, it all looks good and you can see it from the top part of the roof as well but it does look good all the way through here there's a lot of like wax residue left from somebody on this thing but we'll uh we'll try to work that out as we can every time we wash it one of the things on this truck these bed rails the diamond plate i'm not a huge fan of not a fan of at all so these will be coming off soon another thing in the bed is this fifth wheel hitch i have absolutely no use for a fifth wheel hitch so this will be coming off and then this is going to leave us with a perfectly good bed looking at this bed there are a few dents here and there it's kind of hard to see with like the shadows right now here's a decent one um there's just a little bit of dents here and there on this truck there's a decent one in the door right here it's really hard to see in this lighting but for the most part it is spotless it is all rust free but there are some dings and dents in it i guess it was actually used as a truck at one point so that's okay we'll leave those for now maybe one day we'll try to get them paintless dent repaired or something like that but let's come around back here the bumper and the tailgate they look good but it's just not my style they're painted gray and they match each other but the gray doesn't really match anything else on the truck I guess the wheels are gray or silver, but not a huge fan of the tailgate or this bumper setup. So I wanna do the chrome bumper or possibly the far from stock bumper because they look nasty on these trucks if you do them right. Coming into the interior of this thing, it is almost hilarious how nice this thing is. Let's look at the rockers first there's a little bit of uh seam sealer you know chipping off here and there but this thing is just spotless i mean these pinch welds are all literally perfect bottom of the doors are absolutely flawless i mean look at this it's like still shiny it's just insane we got a little bit of uh door seal um you know the strip is just getting old and worn out, but for the most part, this thing is minty up here. You can see a little bit of the seam sealers peeling off. It's dirty. It's definitely not rusty though. At least it doesn't look like it. The bench looks amazing. Apparently it was redone years ago and it looks perfect. I mean, it's factory correct it is the first gen bench but they reupholstered it they've got a ton of switches in this thing so there's one here one here 
one there two here that looks like it would be for the exhaust brake there is an exhaust brake on this which i'm taking off the radio is terrible it's like early 2000s walmart and then i'm not sure if this is factory cruise control or not it looks kind of goofy to me but maybe that is a dodge thing to me it doesn't look like it we turned 91,000 miles going to the freedom truck meet yesterday so that's a milestone for this thing that is absolutely crazy it does have factory ac i don't think it works the first thing i want to do with this truck is four-wheel drive swap it i absolutely hate the two-wheel drive look on first gens like i'm sorry to people that like these trucks lowered but in my opinion they look terrible lowered and they need to be lifted or leveled or something like that so that is the first thing we are going to do i am in search of a dana 60 dodge axle and then a first gen transfer case so we can do the swap as factory as possible something we gotta something you guys gotta see is underneath this thing looks like it's been you know some kind of paint or bed liner at some point but this thing is pretty much flawless underneath rockers cab i mean the cab mounts are perfect yeah do you like this truck yeah <laughs> cab mounts are all literally perfect the bed mounts are perfect the frame is obviously a little bit orange and a little bit surface rusty but i believe all of that would clean up pretty easily so this thing is a good unit. And besides, who doesn't love a truck that their three-year-old daughter loves as well? This is just awesome. So there's gonna be a lot of ice cream runs and all kinds of fun stuff in this thing with Baby Daisy. So if you guys like these videos of the first gen and wanna see a lot more, make sure you subscribe down below and stay tuned because we are just getting started with this thing. Catch you in the next one. Are you driving? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want me to close it? I guess it's mine now. We got a Dodge. <laughs>